So, welcome everyone. This is something new that I was thinking about trying out. It's a game called Breach and Clear, and it has the military theme of the games that I usually like. It's tactical, it's not too fast paced. It, it seems like a game I could enjoy. I've tried it out for a little bit, but I figured I might as well make a new squad and uh, just. Uh, play through some of the missions, see if I can make a series out of this. It's it's a fun game, don't know if it's that fun to watch, but uh, I'll make a go of it anyway. So, first of all, I need to set up a squad. And I used the SAS before, and uh, they were quite nice, but I figured I might as well see if I can uh, try out some other uh, squad this time from some other military faction so what I noticed is that the accuracy is really good to have and uh, I think that might be the ones that I am aiming for actually uh, it's going to be that or the seals for the reaction time the evasion is really nice on the SAS, but uh, I kind of feel like I've been there, done that. So, when choosing between these two, actually, I don't really know. Um, I think I'm going with SEALs, just because SEALs are cooler than the JTF2, I think. At least in my opinion. So, we're making some dudes. Okay, let's just, uh, oh that guy looks really high, so let's go with this guy, and I really want an intelligence guy, I think they're really good, uh, the intuition is pretty sweet, and it's also a nice uh, tactical advantage to be able to use the door witches so let's go with that one uh, Owen Davila yeah sounds fine and the next one let's get the dude with the beard he seems like he would be a weapon sergeant maybe what does the weapon sergeant do uh, improves damage of shots fired uh, suppressing, yeah, sounds pretty nice, uh, what does direct action do? Increases the time for enemies to acquire the soldier. No, I'm not too sure about that. Uh, that's pretty sweet, being able to throw grenades longer and they have a larger radius of effect that's sweet i'll go with that one so we have intelligence we have a breacher we're going to need let's get the dude with the ball cap uh we're also going to need well the medic is nice to have uh Improves effectiveness of med packs. Can use a med pack to revive a soldier. Well, that's actually pretty useful. Being able to bring soldiers back up again. Yeah, let's go with that. So we have intelligence, breacher, medic, and one last dude. Uh, let's get. Let's get that one. So, now I'm picking between these three. Fire team leader, the weapon sergeant, or direct action. So, this one, you can probably get past um, some fire, because they can't acquire him that easily. This one makes more damage. This one 
boosts my other people in the squad. Uh, hmm, that's a really hard choice. Kind of thinking about using this one. Being able to move fast, move up, and not being able to be targeted seems pretty sweet. Yeah, I'm, I'm going with direct action and confirm. So this is the team, intelligence of breacher, medic, and a direct action guy. Seals Bravo Squad. Yeah, that's a decent enough name. Confirm. So now that we have our guys here, let's uh, check out the missions. So I'll just do some terrorist hunts. And the first mission over here, Afghanistan. Terrorists have taken over a new American Afghan business trade center with the intent to destroy it. Secure a foothold within the building. So I don't really know what difficulty I should play at. I've tried it on normal and I think that's kind of hard. But let's pick it up a notch. Let's, let's do hard. Just because. And... Uh, Let's go. So it's pretty sweet. The game loads up really fast, which is uh, nice. And let's see now. We have two entry points. And which one should I go for? Let's see. Should I split my team up or should I keep them together? That is a room that's going to be I feel that room is going to be kind of hard to clear but yeah I think I'm going to take the safe route enter through B with all four guys uh, and I'm going to use the let's see here let's since direct action can't be targeted as quickly, let's send him in first. Then we're going to go in with the intelligence, breacher, and the medic lost. Seems like a good idea. Um, since I've played before, I have bought some explosives and lockpicks. And you have the normal door opening and the shotgun from the beginning. So those two does not cost anything. But the explosives and the lockpicks does cost a couple of dollars. I can't remember how much. But I think it's going to be good enough to use the shotgun on this one. Team, stack up. So we're stacked up on the door. So now let's plan this. I kind of like this mode. So let's see. I'm going. Since it's the larger area to the right, I'm going to go that way. And let's go up here. That way. Roger. The next dude in. I want to go this way. Uh, let's see. That way, that way, and then start checking out that room. Consider it done. Then this guy enters, and he checks out that part. And he runs up here towards that door. And then Roger. last in is the medic. So we're going to bring him in, him in. Then he's moving down here, this way. And he's going to be able to open up inside that room and start clearing it. So that's it. We're going to move towards that door. We're going to have a good field of vision in the room, I think. 
So let's breach and see how we do. Stay sharp. Contact. Yeah. Turned out contact. Oh, he's in cover. That's not good. Um Done. We need to move these guys up. Start clearing this room. Yes, sir. So we move up there. Then we move up here. Let's see. Should I? Yeah, let's try it. So once I enter, I need to go that way. Uh, yeah, so we're using that one. It done. This guy is going to enter, he's going to go down, keep control of that area, and then aim up there. Uh, these guys, what the hell should I do? Consider it done. I think if I have a med pack, uh, no, a flashbang is what I'm thinking of. I'm going to throw the flashbang with that Roger. guy. And then I'm going to move in. And let's see now how to do this. And he's going to have full coverage that way. So pretty good view this way. And let's go. Oh, it took a couple of hits that I didn't expect over there in this room. He moved in. Well, I, I could have realized that. I didn't think that guy in the corner was going to move though. Uh, let's go back to On it. this view mode. Um, yes, sir. Let's see, going to need that one. Done. And then this one is going to move up. And consider it done. Got it. So we're moving downwards. And that way. This guy. There's not supposed to be able to be anyone in that corner since they aren't spotted but you never know and moving down and getting covered that way so i think i'm going to stay this way i'm not going to enter this room at this turn i'm going to wait for that and do a simultaneous entry with all four of my guys in the next round got it. moving Con a lot of guys in there so let's see now. Do I have any only frag grenades? That's too bad. Done. Yes, uh, sir. Let's see. I have a flash over here. I could throw that one up. Done. Wait. On it. That guy. I can throw and go with this guy. So that's is what I'm going to do. Like that. Oh, it's that guy up there. Uh, which means I want to give a, just a little bit of time until that thing detonates. So I'm going Got that it. bit. And I'm going to do the same with this guy. And Stay sharp. And towards him. And let's On see. It. Did one of these guys have sprint? No. Done. It wasn't these guys. That's too bad. So, one person is going to be able to just go that way. Yes, sir. The other one is going to run in and shoot at that guy up there. Shouldn't be a problem. So, let's go. Check your corners. Flash. One down. Oh, targets down. Area clear. So by moving my guys back inside that room, I actually managed 
to intercept them in the door when they try to get me. Success. Sweet. 16.8 seconds. That's not too bad. And level up. Oh, quite a bit on that guy. So, sweet. Let's uh, continue. So, I need to start thinking about how I want to set up these guys. So, at the moment the reaction time is really good. So, do I want survivability by getting uh, evasion? Or do I want accuracy to be able to take out targets faster by getting more bullets on targets? And more critical shots. That's really sweet as well. I think I am going to go with... Uh, intelligence officer. Uh, what does the intuition do? Uh, I'm not too sure how that works. So I'm going to go with accuracy for the first few levels, I think. And the breacher. Uh, I'm going. To, yeah, I'm still going to go with accuracy just to get that up to 50, at least. And then I'm going to go with explosives and this guy. Because it's really good to be able to throw those grenades out real far to suppress or take out um, enemy combatants that's hiding behind, behind cover, snipers and stuff. And the medic. You don't really need the first aid that much. As long as you can get your soldiers back up again, you can always use them more defensively. So I think I'm going with accuracy in this guy as well. And direct action. That was the fast guy, that was harder to hit and stuff, so I think I'm, I might, I might actually go with speed on him, just to get him that extra bit of reach. So, that is going to be it for now, this is the next map that I will be playing. Uh, looks to be like a fun, looks to be a fun map. Uh, but more of that next time. See ya guys.